these tanks on this side where we've got our breeding groups. Uh, here we've got Sachatamia elix, which is the mountain glass frog. Here we have a different breeding group of Valeroy from the front room. And here we've got Fleischmanni. The Fleischmanni here from the reserve. These are from here in the region of Guayacan. And the elix are from here in the reserve. Um, you can see here in this tank up top here, you can see an egg mass. This is an egg, ma egg mass of Elix. And how long did it take to develop those, Brian? These guys take about 15 days for their embryonic development. So in the wild, for example, they want to lay these eggs over on the vegetation overhanging a stream. And then the tadpoles will drop out, you know, once, they, once they hatch, they'll hatch out and fall into the stream. And then from there it can take several months for, for their tadpole development to, to undergo. And they hatch onto little, little froglets. Here I'll get out a elix so you can see one a little better. Here's an elix. Oop. This is a female. Jumping around a little bit. Uh, got her, yeah. I'm going to put her back in her. She's kind of yeah. a little camera shy. Here's a male. You can see the difference in the male. That they're, this is called sexual dimorphism. Uh, the female's larger. The male's sm smaller and slender. So you can tell the difference between a male and a female glass in this particular species. Well, most glass frogs are that particular relationship. The female's a little more larger, robust body form. And these have got really beautiful eyes as well, haven't they? Yep, they have a real reticulated, real strong black and white reticulation in the iris. Yeah, it might be kind of hard to... See an iris or not? Right around time. This thing I'll show you real quick. Here we've got a group of eggs of Valeroy. This is a group of eggs. You can see a little little embryos moving around in there. So again, these these guys are getting near their time to hatch out, so we'll have to pull we'll have to pull these out. Actually, we have to go ahead and pull them out right now. So what we do is you bring off the leaf and then we'll put them in a little container and then wait for the eggs and we'll hatch, actually sometimes manually hatch out the eggs, we'll let them hatch out and then we'll put them over into the, into the little aquariums.